crazy. Anyway, I'm going live because all of Facebook, most of Facebook, the black women keep talking about Cardi B divorcing her husband because um, he cheated on her so many times. And they're so happy that she made this movement to leave her husband who has cheated on her so much. And that's very courageous of her. For one, that's one of the reasons why you black women today can't keep a man, nor find a husband, nor keep a husband. Because y'all mindset is so fucked up about the terms of a husband and what a wife is. For one, Cardi B is a ex-stripper, a whore. Um, we all know what strippers do. Rather, she was selling her pussy or taking her clothes off. Either no. or, it's disgusting. And that is a whore. She was never going to find a good husband. That's why she got a husband like Offset. He's a clown. Any woman, she wouldn't even, I wouldn't, as a woman personally, I wouldn't even want to be seen walking in public with him. The way he looked, the way he dressed, the way he acted. I don't care how much money he has. He could be a trillionaire. If it's a woman, if money motivates you for a man, then something wrong right there too. You should want a man who is, um, his, where his mindset is right. I got all these women cussing me out on this post. That's why I went live. So hopefully they get on my page and hear me out. But, um, an ex stripper, then a woman on top of that, who's always naked, showing her body parts. What, what, what would make a woman think that that's okay? I mean, we got so far off into the world that's 2020 that with the now new okay is what God said that that bad would be considered good. That that good would be would be considered evil. And all you black women, y'all so fucking embarrassed. And mo most of you, most of you, are so fucking embarrassed that y'all have this mindset. And y'all won't change it. Y'all won't even take the time out to think to change it. What nigga gonna be faithful to a stripper, to a whore, to a woman who's telling the whole world about her whack ass pussy, who can't keep a nigga? Y'all don't even think about that kind of shit. What woman can keep a man? Who acts like Cardi B. She couldn't even keep that clown ass nigga. So come on. Y'all all promoting her divorce her husband. Divorce for, for one ain't never good. If your husband cheat on you. You should practice forgiveness. But even if so. The most high do say. That you can divorce for fornication. That is okay to leave somebody. If they fornicate on you. They commit adultery. But a lot of you women are so big on leaving your man. So big on y'all got this mindset that the white man taught y'all that it's okay to leave your husband over the stupidest shit. I fight for my marriage to this day. We don't deal with any infidelity, but the things that we do get into it about, you know how many people tell us to divorce? That's how evil the world is. Over petty shit because we fight and are getting into it. Um, divorce. No, that's not no real marriage. It's not no real love. You don't, you don't. You, you you work stuff out. But then y'all have to understand, too, what kind of woman Cardi is. She was never wife material. Black women, y'all so fucking embarrassing the way y'all think. Y'all are so embarrassing the way y'all think. Y'all don't want to be wives. That's your whole purpose as a human. That's why y'all so fucking confused out here, depressed, all these different children, baby daddies, all this stuff. Because y'all don't know what y'all purpose is as a woman. Y'all were made to be a wife, to be under a man, to be a lady, to be a mother. Your purpose is not no fucking career, going to school, being a model, being all this dumbass worldly shit. It is to be a wife, a good one at that. That is our purpose as black women. Not talking to any other race, but my people. I'm so sick and tired of it. I'll, I'll go live and express my feelings. I don't give a damn. I'll express it because I have people who actually listen. Y'all are embarrassing. Change y'all mindset. Teach y'all daughters better. To think better than what y'all are saying now. Read. Just go back and read some of the shit y'all say. And think of it. What would God say? In the midst of y'all reading the shit y'all say. What would God say? Honestly. Y'all all, all y'all black women supporting the whore. It's fucking ridiculous. Her wop ain't keep no nigga. Did it. Y'all, I have. I went to go see my daughter, my little sister, singing. Um, yeah, I don't cook, I don't clean. Yeah, I got this ring, and she was proud saying it. Like, yeah, I can, I can grow up and don't gotta do none of that shit and get a husband. Not even seeing the significance in what she's saying as a ten-year-old little girl. 
That's embarrassing. Then you grown ass women walking around here singing the shit, playing the shit in y'all car, and literally taking the mindset of all these whores, mulatto, Megan, half of them transgenders, uh, Nikki. Y'all think that having their mindset is tight or cool? Y'all bitches is whack. The way y'all think is whack. It's retarded. It's dumb. It's embarrassing. It's ignorant. It's stupid. Damn. Y'all don't sit back and think. It's stupid. L listen to the lyrics. I'll be sometimes, I listen to the music sometimes, so I listen to black music. But as I'm listening to it, I think about how stupid they sound. Like, damn. When I was real worldly, even though I like the beat, I grooved to it. But as you listen to what they're saying, like, damn, that shit stupid. They y'all they sound like whores. All y'all role models are whores. Kim Kardashian, all Alexis Sky, all y'all role models are whores. All you how all you women walk around here getting y'all lashes, wigs done, nails done, all this stuff y'all mimic is coming from whores. Y'all are not millionaires. None of y'all, I know all of y'all. Fort Wayne from Georgia. Air niggas, we are broke. We don't have millions of dollars. Even if we do got good money, we still ain't living like that. We can't take pictures every day in new outfits and shit with them women tricked and whored for. And y'all envy it. Y'all want to be like it. Y'all mimic it. Y'all teaching y'all daughters to be like it. The dance like it. Y'all, I'm going to fucking parties, uh, family reunions and shit and, and kid parties and I hear big old freak playing in the background. And fucking Nikki and, and WAP. And y'all recording y'all kids dancing with them like it's cute. And I'm like, dang God, thank you for pulling me from that shit. That I can actually see and open my eyes like, this shit is wrong. <laughs> Hell no, nah, my daughter can't listen to no goddamn WAP. Not around me. That's how y'all women should think. Y'all embarrassing. Check yourselves. Y'all sound ignorant. And I'm tired of it. Not tell any bitch this to her face. Because that's what y'all are. So no, Tupac was right. We can't get mad if they call us bitches. Because that's how y'all act. That's exactly how every single one of y'all act. I very rarely meet women like me. Very rarely. And when I do, I salute her. But black women, y'all embarrassing. Y'all embarrassing the way y'all mother. Y'all embarrassing the way y'all portray yourselves. Y'all embarrassing the way y'all act. Period. And y'all... Get on these black men. Y'all talk about our, our black men so bad, too. But y'all play a huge part of that. It, at the end of the day, we can say all day, men cheat, niggas cheat, and do this and that. It take a bitch to open her legs at the end of the day for that man to cheat. It always falls on the woman. Period. Because we have a certain way to be and to think. And every day I fight to be like that. I know my purpose. My purpose is to be a wife and to be a woman of God. That is my purpose. My whole desire belongs to my husband. Every day I wake up trying to figure out how to please him, how to love him. Even when we fight and he wrong, I'm, I'm fixing the shit. Because that's my destiny. That's what God put me on this earth to be. A mother and a wife. You black women are embarrassing. Talking about one girl, I said, I say, I said, um, I said she was never wife material to begin with. It's an ex stripper we talking about. She on there talking about some, oh, so what? Just because she's a stripper, you don't know how it is to go out there and um and have to take care of kids. You will find any kind of work to pay bills. If I have to sell my pussy or take off my clothes in order to get money, that's pitiful. I will go work at McDonald's. I will go find any kind of job that's low pay before I ever take off my clothes and sell my pussy. So women, that's not an excuse. You do that because you want to do that. That's the whore in you. That's why they're strippers. It ain't no, because, oh, I got to find a way to pay my bills. There's a million jobs out here. And if taking off your clothes and, and selling your pussy is a way to make money, you're pitiful. And there's no excuse about it. And you're a whore in God's eyes. And you will burn in the lake of fire. And black women... Y'all have the most fucked up mindset. And how I can prove it, facts, Eve. She was, she was the one that fucked us all. Think about it.